This video will cover how to perform a new install in an application remote desktop environment. That is where one server will act as the application server that has the full Sage BusinessWorks install, and then a second server will be the remote desktop server, and that server will only have the Actian Zen server engine installed on it. Then the users in separate sessions will either install the full client for the first attempt for the first user and then the profile install for any additional users. When performing a network installation of Sage BusinessWorks, the first step after downloading the software is to create the Sage folder. To do this, right-click on the Windows Start button, choose File Explorer, choose this PC, and then the C drive. In any blank area, right-click on your mouse, click New, and then Folder. Call this folder Sage. Now right-click on the Sage folder, go to Properties, go to the Sharing tab, go to Advanced Sharing, click Share this folder. For the permissions, you can choose which users or groups you want to have control of this folder. All users that use BusinessWorks should have full control to the folder. In this example, we will use the Everyone group on the Share Permissions. Click Allow for Full Control. Click Apply. OK. Apply. OK, one more time. And then we're going to click on the security tab. For the security tab, again, you would want to list either the individual users or the groups that you want to share this Sage folder with. In this example, we're going to choose the authenticated users group. We're going to click edit, and then we're going to grant them full control. Apply, OK, and then close out of the sharing permissions. Now that the download is complete, it's time to run the Sage BusinessWorks files that were downloaded. Right click on the Windows Start menu, choose File Explorer, choose Downloads, and select Sage BusinessWorks. If prompted, select Yes to the User Account Control message. Accept the default location for the extraction of the Sage BusinessWorks install files and click Setup. Click Install Sage BusinessWorks. New to the installation of Sage BusinessWorks 2023, it is now required that you install the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable files. Click Install to continue. Click Next to continue. Read through and accept the terms of the end user license agreement and click Next. When installing on the server, we're going to choose Network Installation and enter the product code CS. The Client Server Edition is required for anybody that will be using Remote Desktop in order to connect users remotely. Use of the correct product code is important as your registration will not function if you do not have the correct product code and click Next to continue. On this screen, you're going to select the program path and data path that will be used for the Sage BusinessWorks product. We recommend keeping the default location of CSage BW Prog and CSage BW Data. If you would like to change these values, Click Browse and select the desired location, and then click Next to continue. On this screen, you're going to select the folder to install the Actian Zen program files. We recommend accepting the default and clicking Next to continue. When prompted to select the client data path, choose the shared folder path that was created earlier in this demonstration and click Next to continue. Accept the default location for the Sage BusinessWorks program folder and click Next to continue. Confirm your installation type, program path, data path, client data path, and if everything looks okay, click next to continue. The installation will now be installing the Actian Zen database engine. This process may appear to not be progressing, but it will complete. Now we're installing the Sage BusinessWorks program files, and now we're configuring the databases. We're going to click Finish to complete the installation, and then we're going to hit Exit to exit the installation files. Now that the install is complete on the application server, you're going to log in to a session on your remote desktop server. Once 
you have moved the Sage Business Works install files over to the remote desktop server, you're going to right click on Start, go to File Explorer, and then browse to the location of the files. I downloaded the files directly from sagekb.com, so I'm going to go under Downloads, and I'm going to double click the sagebusinessworks.exe file, and then click Setup to extract the Sage Business Works 2023 install file. Once extracted, click Browse CD, go to the Pervasive SQL folder, and launch the Actian server installed.exe. The screen will display stating that it's installing Actian server components. You will receive an Actian server install complete message. Click OK. After Actian has been installed on the remote desktop server, you're going to log in to a separate remote session as an administrator user on the remote desktop server. Once there, right click on the Windows Start button, go to File Explorer, and either use Network or the address bar to browse out to the server that has the Sage Business Works program installed on it, otherwise known as the application server. Once there, choose the Sage folder that you shared previously, then go into the BW Prog folder, and then go into the client setup. Then you are going to select Auto Run. Click Install Sage Business Works Client. If prompted for user account control, say yes. Click Next. Confirm the program folder. We recommend accepting the default and click Next. Confirm the client installation settings and click Next to begin the install. You will notice Actian did not install. That is because it was installed already in the previous session that you were logged in as. You may get prompted for the administrator login during the configuring databases portion of the install. If prompted, enter the local administrator account to the application server. Click Finish to complete, and then Exit to exit the install files. You will see you now have a Sage Business Works icon on the desktop, and you can successfully log into the program. Each additional user after the administrator user runs the client setup only needs to perform the BW profile install. In this case, we're logged into a session as a user that does not have admin rights, and we are again going to go to File Explorer. And then we're going to browse to the application server, go to the Sage folder, the BW Prog folder, and then we're going to run BW Profile. When BW Profile displays, click Next to continue. Click Next to confirm the program folder. Verify that the installation type says Profile and that the program and data path are correct, and then click Next to continue. Once complete, you will see a Sage Business Works icon on the desktop, and then click Finish. You will now perform the profile setup on any additional remote desktop users, and your installation is now complete.